Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be putting the rubber feet on our henchman 10 foot ladders. Right then, a lot of people have watched my video on the henchman tripod ladders and what a great bit of kit they are. They saw us using the claw feet when we were climbing up and down in the garden. That's the claw feet right there. Plenty of grip on soft surfaces. And you saw me using the rubber feet. That's the rubber feet right there. And you saw me using those when we were working on the hard surfaces. However, a couple of people asked me, how do I get them on and off? They've had a bit of trouble with it. Well, believe you me, you didn't have as much trouble as me. <laughs> When they first turned up, we got the ladders, they were all wrapped up and you got some instructions with them. Great instructions, great set of ladders, really love them. You got the feet with them, right, they were wrapped up in plastic with a bit of paper around it, pulled the plastic off, ripped the paper off, threw that away, no bother. Went out on site to use them on the tarmac, oh I just need to pop the feet on, I'll do that, no problem. Put them on one way, tried squeezing them in like this, I thought, Phew, brilliant, that's easy. Walked along and they just fell off and they were on the floor. I thought, oh, right, there must be a better way of putting them on than that. So then I noticed the grooves on this side and I thought, right, well what we can do is squeeze these in and they'll sit on the grooves and then that must be the soft bit on there and that'll sit on the floor and stop us slipping. So I'm there going round and I'm thinking, this doesn't seem great, I'm sure, you know, out a great product like really well made like henchman tripod ladders there's got to be a better way of fitting these on than this and it wasn't until then when I was squeezing this on that I noticed when you squeeze it tight and it does that look and it bellows out now when it bellows out that's where the claw goes in that hole right you bend these back like so put it all the way around you bend these back the claw sits in there this lip goes over the top and it stops it coming off and gives you great grip on the, on the tarmac or whatever surface you're working on. I thought, right, so we've got to do it. It was a cold day. These are like quite tough because they're made out of rubber, obviously. It gets, you know, quite tight when it's cold. And we struggled to get them on. I looked at some reviews and other people struggled to get them on. I can safely say, after a couple of goes, it's easy, right? And if you're having any problem, it's cold again today and I'm in my workshop, right? So we can warm these up. We can stick them in a bucket of water. We've got a bucket of warm water over here and we can just pop that in there for a couple of minutes and that just softens the plastic up. Now, if you're struggling, even when it's a little bit softer, to get it round, I wouldn't recommend using this one because it's sharp, but if you've got a softer bladed screwdriver or a wooden implement, you can get in there and just lift them round and it make it so much easier. All you have to do, you put the rubber foot on and just work round. Don't go opposites like when we're tightening things up. Just work round in a circle and it should go on, right? I've had that in there for about 30 seconds. It should have warmed up a bit. I'll try and let the water out. I bet there'll be loads of water in there. Right, so rubber foot then. You turn this round. What we have to do first get ourselves a bit of a gap and slot one of these in. Right, that's slotted in. Now we get to the next one and we pull that one round and that's in. So you can see we've gone round to there. Third one, it does get a little bit harder as you're going round, but it's not bad. That's that one in and then we're on to the last one. And if I can just pull it through, we get the last one up and over. Easier said than done, all goes swimmingly till you turn the camera on. There you go, clips into place. And there, provides you with loads of grip on a hard surface. They do move around on there, so if you catch them or pull them when you're moving around, they're not gonna tear. They've got this lip that sits over on the top there, with that lip that sits over, that keeps it in place, so it won't come off, there's no way it'll come off. You move them around everywhere and they work great. This is the centre leg off the ladder, so everybody's got these centre legs. We've got fully adjustable legs. You don't have to take them off to put the rubber feet on. It's easy to put them on with them in situ. However, I'm in my workshop. I didn't want to bring them in, do whatever I've got to do, and then go out again. Just take a leg off. It's easy to show you. So there you go. It's as simple as that. Really is. Give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you can. Hope you enjoyed watching that. There's loads of other videos about. Follow me across all the socials if you can on Twitter, 
Facebook, Instagram, you can even add me on LinkedIn. You know, anything nice to say, put it in the comments section below. All the details for these henchmen ladders will be in the description as well. I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.